is an Arabian. Horses from North Africa. Unbelievable horses with endurance. If we're going to race endurance, we want, a, we want an Arabian. They were bred for centuries to go hundreds of miles across flat deserts. Incredible horses. They're very narrow for the most part. Sonny, he hasn't missed lunch too much, so he has some width to him. But as a breed, they're a little more narrow from top to bottom. They travel very close. We generally will shoe them quite light. They have finer limbs than the heavier horses we talked about earlier. They're cold-blooded horses. Finer limbs, we need a little lighter shoe. For those horses that are racing endurance, we want a little bit of traction, and that may just be a crease within the shoe or some borium or drill tech. Sonny's limbs in the natural range of motion, I look down through here, and from the fetlock, he goes in pretty, pretty good. And you can also see the deviation in the hoof wall where he's much straighter here, a little pushed up in this corner because of that slight deviation. Within normal ranges for what he does, I'll pick it up this way. He's got a, a shoe that's rockered, and a rockered shoe, the hoof has to be altered to accommodate the shoe, which is bent so that it eases his break over. And because of the axial rotational deviation, right, his frog points towards center, the farrier made the rocker toe on the lateral toe quarter because that's where he breaks over. The difference between a rocker toe and a rolled toe is that the hoof has to be altered to accommodate the shoe in a rocker toed shoe. In a rolled toed shoe, it's just a change to the metal. The shoe is left flat on the foot surface, but the ground surface of the shoe is rolled off to allow ease of breakover. And then again on this foot, I can see that there's a fetlock varus. You can see a disparity in hoof wall length from one side to another. You can also see that this medial toe quarter is flaring a little bit. This heel is tucked under. He's pounding hard on this lateral heel. Sonny again is a little fetlock varus here. Has lateral flare here because he's a little base narrow. When I ran my hand down his leg and I looked, he's got quite a bump here, an old injury. It doesn't seem to bother him at this point. Because of his maturity, I might go with a half round shoe. It's rolled off in every direction. He has some subtle angular deviations and rotational deviations, and he's mature. And this shoe that's w rolled in every direction will allow that hoof to break over in any direction and allow him greater comfort with movement. This crease or fuller in the shoe also offers a subtle traction. When you look at it, if, it, if you look down the limb and it doesn't look quite right, it probably isn't. Okay. So when you look at his feet, what would you like to do? Right now? Yeah. Um, I feel like I didn't dress enough on the lateral side on this foot. I see, I see a little dish a little bit on the... All right, but he's going to have a dish because of his conformation, and that's where we run into trouble. But if you look at the symmetry of the foot, you dropped a line straight down the middle. Mm -hmm. What do you see? This foot. Is he is. He's got a rotational deviation. You're not going to change that. That's the way he is. Mm -hmm. And he's doing great with it. Yes. But you can do something to help him out. One is, I already gave you a clue, a half round shoe is great for a horse like this mm -hmm. with multiple deviations, especially if they're mature. But there's one other thing. When I run my hand down through here, give him just a little bit more laterally. Okay. Especially back here. With the stock is best. You don't have to hang the shoe way out. It's okay. going to be pulled off. But if you could just give them a little more with the stock there. Okay. And how would you do that with a half round shoe? How would I do that? Yeah, how are you going to do that? You, you got it? <laughs> no, because it's not, it's not wider on the lateral side, is it? You, know, you could fuller it? You could. You could run a fuller a little longer. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. You could also reduce the width of web medially on your grinder. Okay. Take it and take some of the material off, all right? Okay. And that's from the last nail hole back. Don't be reducing it up front of that to ruin your nail line or anything like that. So actually both front feet. Another thing, because of his conformation, he's predisposed to those lateral flares. Yes. But there's real disparity between his hind feet. And if you get behind him and you look at him, 
This left heel. And I know this foot is broken up a little bit so you don't get a real even look. But this, this heel is flaring quite a bit. This one is a little more tucked under. Right. Sorry, let me just, I'm sorry. So you're going to address your lateral toe flares. But you could give him a little more support there because he's base narrow. But he's not a wide horse. He's wide because he hasn't missed lunch. But they're not a wide, wide built horse. They're narrow. They're meant to go thousands of miles across deserts. And uh, you could give them just a little bit more laterally there. Okay. But if you hammer down that heel, you hammer it down to give it more width, meaning you're drawing it out towards the inside. Mm -hmm. With your hammer? Yeah. With your hammer. Yeah. On that one, you would want to draw it towards the inside or towards the middle of the foot. Okay. Because you want the w thickest port of your shoe underneath the hoof wall, the viable hoof wall, which is out of ways. On this one, where the heel is tucked under a little bit, you want to hammer it down towards the outside. Okay. You want the thickest part of the shoe underneath the viable hoof wall. Because this limb, because of the deviations, is going to travel a little further underneath the body. Okay. So he's going to pound that heel harder. You don't want him to pound it harder. You're going to give him a smoother glide into that stride. That's the way he's going to go. We're not going to change it. We're not going to try to change it. We're going to allow him to do the best of his ability with what he has. And just those subtle changes really okay. help them out. 